The dangerous cold puts your furnace also under a stress test. And tonight at 6 o'clock, our own Rich Nye joins us tonight with the rates to restore heat. And a lot of families, unfortunately, yeah. we're dealing with this all over central Indiana today. I've been talking about these a lot the past <laughs> yes. couple of days. This furnace air filter costs less than a dollar. But if you haven't replaced yours in the last month, it could be dirty and clogged. This one's clean. But a dirty one puts unnecessary strain on your furnace while it tries to keep your house warm. That's the most common furnace problem, but when it's this cold, furnaces break down for many reasons. Boys, sit. Even with a gas fireplace and a fur coat, the Underwood home felt a little chilly this morning. When we got up, it was about 60. It's just all continuously dropping. <laughs> on the coldest day of winter, their furnace stopped working. Need to buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> Yeah, I, it's that's it's scary. Mike and Kathy called Williams Comfort Air. We're working 12 plus hours a day just to try to keep up with everybody, try to get everybody heat. Our goal is to get every customer heat that we possibly can. It's set to 72, but it's only 57 in here. So we'll take a look at the furnace and we'll go from there. Technician Josh Maves quickly diagnosed a draft inducer motor in need of simple repair and under warranty. Inside, the temperature dips to 55. When you lose the furnace, it's like, okay, what am I going to do next? What's the now best? What? Yeah, what's what's the best thing for us to do? I really need to call an expert. You can check here, make sure the filter's clean, make sure you've got power going to the furnace, didn't trip any breakers or anything like that. Outside of that, definitely need to uh, call call someone. The heat here was back on about an hour after help arrived. Consider no heat in this weather an emergency. Even if you're second guessing, always have somebody come out because if it's acting up, it's going to go out and we want to get out as soon as we can. We wanted to know how fast your home loses heat when the furnace goes out. Well, that depends on your insulation, your windows, and how well the house is sealed up. In a newer home, the temperature drop may be more of an issue of comfort than actual physical danger. It might take two or three days to drop below 40 if you keep that house closed up tight. But there is certainly a bigger concern for small children and seniors in a cold house. Now, I usually bring some clothes or food out to the set for you <laughs> right. guys to go along with my story. Yeah. Tonight, make sure you check that furnace filter. Right. Scott and Andrea, thank, thank, and if this you. doesn't fit your furnace, it's certainly a large reminder note. Oh, absolutely. We all need that <laughs> we reminder, do. don't we? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Rich. Thank you.